Before Hell's Paradise even began, before Episode 1 even graced us with its presence, there was a lot of hype surrounding the show, a lot of people looking forward to what Studio Mappa had to offer. And love it or hate it, Studio Mappa has made quite a name for themselves. They have made countless good anime productions, there's been some that have been on the side where people didn't care about, but overall, ever since Jujutsu Kaisen, they really have just blown up in popularity, and they have picked up massive pro project after massive project and they continuously have high production values that really just boggles everybody's mind and even if legitimately you do not like any of these shows that they have worked on over the years I think everybody can at least agree that they do have some really good looking visuals some very unique looking styles of animation that you don't often see in a lot of other anime and so because of that you know a lot of people started comparing Studio Mappa with Studio Fotable that works on Demon Slayer and for good reason, there's been a lot of moments throughout all of these shows that legitimately look breathtaking. And so because of this overall high expectation, people were looking forward to Hell's Paradise in the exact same manner. Nama, my good friend here, he pieced together a very intellectual thread that really just dives in deep to how he and many others feel about Hell's Paradise currently. And I think that overall, this is an excellent read that really highlights a lot of issues that a lot of people are having. And this isn't just like a one person issue. I made a post actually just kind of curious to see, you know, put my feelers out there to see how people actually feel about Hell's Paradise. And as you can see, 1.6 million views on the post I made here with 549 quote retweets with its own comment section within these. It's clear that a lot of people are talking about Hell's Paradise and a lot of people are interested in, you know, the dislike around Hell's Paradise or if it's good or bad. And getting a good look at my overall comment section, I got a good grasp of just what people were expecting, what they got, etc. Legitimately very fascinating stuff overall. And I mean, you can even see comparisons between like the anime to the manga here. It's very clear that there is a lot of people that are unhappy and also happy with the overall production of Hell's Paradise. So let's get into, you know, Nama's Fred, because I feel like a lot of points that he covers here, he puts very well in just writing here, and I think he really just gets across what everybody is probably thinking in a really good way. And if you haven't followed my boy Nama here, I really recommend it. He's a legitimately great poster. He does this for many different series, not just Hell's Paradise, but many things that he watches or reads. I love his friends. He does a really really good job with this, just shout outs to him. But getting on topic though, how MAPPA has sacrificed Hell's Paradise for Jujutsu Kaisen. And to kind of clarify why people are saying this, it's because obviously Jujutsu Kaisen is airing next season second season is. And because, you know, the air dates are just so close, people instantly want to say, okay, so the reason why, you know, Hell's Paradise is probably looking bad in a lot of people's eyes is probably because, you know, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 is coming up, and obviously, there is a lot more overwhelming hype with JJK than pretty much the entire catalog at Studio Mappa. I mean, once again, pointing out this is kind of where the overall hype, the hype train for Studio Mappa really began, was when they actually animated Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1. I mean, it's been just an overall, just you know, victory after victory, so to speak, for them. Which goes into why Hell's Paradise is getting such a lukewarm reception, because it is underperforming in a lot of people's eyes. But getting back into the post, he talks about how, in terms of overall production, basically, it's Shingeki and Hell's Paradise that are conflicting. It's not JJK. Because the overall animation producer, Wataru, is the one that's also working on both. And he points out as well the overall role of the animation producer and what task the individual has on productions in general and he pretty much outlines the fact that you know they're the man behind the curtain they're the individual that has to put the team together contact animators outsource things etc they have a lot of different roles to play a lot of things they have to do to get a team together to start working on things and if you lack resources or if there's not enough animators that's when things start to fall apart which you know leads into this question that Nama ask and many have asked this question even I have asked this question in the past and I've also talked about it why would MAPPA accept projects that they can't handle 
which gets into the overall discussion. You know, they have picked up a lot of high-profile projects that everybody can recognize. I mean, just to shout out a few, JJK, Shingeki no Kyojin, Chainsaw Man, Vinland Saga. I mean, Hell's Paradise is obviously another one. I mean, they have picked up some very high-profile stuff. It's not underrated stuff. It's not small-scale stuff. It's really really popular shows, or really popular manga before they received, you know, anime. So, when you think about this, you know, overall question, why would they pick so much up that they can't handle, it's because they can. And it's the exact reason. From a business perspective, they can. Because if the overall product, for instance, like Chainsaw Man, Shingeki no Kyojin, JJK, is already doing very well in terms of manga sales and people are itching for an anime adaptation, then obviously it's a very safe thing to pick up. They don't have to be the best of the best, but if they do a well enough job, people will buy it. People will accept it, buy it, and just dive in deep into it. And this goes into the post I made, actually. When we get into this post, that, you know, comments on why people are disliking it, I saw a variety of different comments. People that obviously outright hate Hell's Paradise, people that love it and think it's their best anime they've ever seen, to also people that are down, straight down the middle and lukewarm about the overall series, to also people just pointing out that it feels like it is not really a MAPPA product, and it feels very lackluster and low budget than anything else they have currently seen, and it doesn't have that overall MAPPA feeling to it. Which, I guess, the big argument to be said here is all of it stems from art and animation and I know this seems very shallow to mention because obviously anime isn't all about art and animation I, I, I think that is something that does need to be kind of clarified on but a lot of people that do watch shows and let's keep it real let's be adults a lot of people that start anime probably watch it because of art and animation. You see one epic looking battle scene from a show and instantly your interest is peaked. You're like, whoa, what is this from? And then you instantly want to dive into the series and you want to see what's going on, which leads into why Studio Mappa has become so popular. They've had some iconic, beautiful moments from many of their different shows that can be clipped real quickly and posted online and it, it becomes the talk of the town. People are like, this is incredible and it blows up. And so when you think about just just what has happened with Hell's Paradise. It is a series that does have excellent moments that are outright beautiful and breathtaking, but there's a lot of moments that feel very still framey and lacks movement in comparison to what previous products were, which gets back into the topic of just like mostly art and animation is what people are really mentioning. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people like a very shiny product. That's the truth. And regardless if you love or hate that overall statement, it is the truth. People love a shiny project, and if it looks good, and it looks good on paper, like in movement and everything, people are going to eat it up. Even if it is some of the middest thing that you've ever seen, people will eat that up if it looks absolutely breathtaking. So the point of the matter is, is that a lot of people's complaints on Hell's Paradise, and this isn't just a Twitter thing, this is the overall anime community. I've seen people making YouTube videos talking about, you know, Hell's Paradise and content creators within the anime community and manga community talking about Hell's Paradise and how it's just such a disservice to the original source and an overall downgrade to the original Original source. Like, Nama puts a good, you know, example here, actually. He shows images, a comparison of the anime and manga, as you can see here, and I think this really outlines a lot of problems that manga readers are having, is that, obviously, when you look at just the anime, it doesn't really replicate that pop, that feeling that, obviously, the manga gives you. Now, to be fair, when it comes to manga, you have an individual panel that, you know, the mangaka is able to focus on and dedicate a lot of time to. It's a single still frame. That's what it is. But when you look at the anime, obviously when it comes to anime, there's movement, there's motion. And so there's a lot of in-between frames, a lot of frames that are moving continuously to be able to get something to look like an anime. And so not everything can be given the exact same level of detail as a single panel from a manga. So there will always be discrepancies. There will always be things that look lower quality in anime than they do in a manga. This isn't just a Hell's Paradise issue or even a Studio Mappa issue with their projects. It literally is just any anime anime will face this issue. And even some of the best shows here, like for instance, like Shingeki to Vinland Saga, etc., I want to bet you if you really dive in deep and really want to take off, you know, the hype or whatever, you know, you'll probably find things that do look worse in the anime than the manga. It's the truth. It will always be a thing. And so, obviously, just because it doesn't completely replicate the manga doesn't mean it's bad. 
but there is a lot that is playing against Hell's Paradise. It's to the overall lackluster downgrade of the art in a lot of people's eyes, to the production value of Hell's Paradise being rather lower than what people are used to from Studio Mappa, to also it just being so hyped up that people were expecting something grand, but really it doesn't seem like it has a lot going for it in a lot of people's eyes. Regardless if that's a wrong or right statement, that's how people feel, and it's the truth. And my post really does echo this. This. You get to see a lot of people that have commented on this and talked about this overall, you know, moment. And, I mean, even another friend of mine here says, you know, the usual reasons it's not Demon Slayer or JJK level production, it's rushed and stuff. And people have talked about how the anime feels rushed, the pacing is off, or it feels too slow. There's a back and forth feeling, you know, we have, you know, animation errors. All this different stuff. And then you have people right here. And once again, this is completely valid and okay to say as well. You know, it's MAPPA's best work. A lot of people also feel that Hell's Paradise is one of the best works that MAPPA's done. So it's really interesting just seeing the overall discussion around the show. Because legitimately, I think that Hell's Paradise really encompasses what I want from a show. And hear me out. I love discussion. I, I That's a big thing I love about just anime and manga when I make videos and stuff is discussion discussion around these very hard topics and obviously it's clear that this is striking a nerve with a lot of people and I think that there is a lot to really you know examine from this is this basically the uh the start of many productions that will be thrown under the bus for other shows within Studio Mappa or is Hell's Paradise a hiccup or a blip in the the grand scheme of things for the overall studio only time will tell. But the point of the matter is, is that Hell's Paradise is obviously disappointing a lot of people, and it also is making a lot of people happy too, but I have definitely seen a lot of discourse around the show in recent weeks, and I've definitely seen a dwindling of conversation around the series as well because of people's overall thoughts on it. There's a lot of people that I follow that even said they've dropped the show because they're just not feeling it anymore. So I think that does also speak for itself. But I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below how you felt about this topic. And once again, shout outs to Nama here for this very thought-provoking and analytical post. I really think that Nama, you did a very good job. If you watched this video, shout outs to you. Never stop doing stuff like this. I think you do a fantastic job with posts like this for Hell's Paradise or other shows. And like, once again, this frame here really just goes to show good examples of great art and animation for Hell's Paradise. I think that, once again, just keep doing what you're doing. And let me know your thoughts on the video as well everybody that's watching, but be safe, stay healthy, chibi out.